Hey guys, welcome to an exciting video of the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino by Seed Studio. In this video, I will do a quick unboxing and a getting started of the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino. So, what is Grove? Prototyping has never been easier ever before. Grove allows you to say goodbye to soldering or using a breadboard for all prototyping needs. You can simply start using our Grove modules just by plug and play. It is now compatible with many development platforms including Arduino, Raspberry Pi, BeagleBone and more. The Grove Beginner Kit contains a Arduino Lotus and 8 different Grove modules with different interaction modes. Each Grove module comes with clear documentation and demo code to help you get started very quickly and easily. So you can start messing around at once with a wide variety of projects. Now let's do a quick unboxing of the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino. So, what makes this kit different from the Grove Starter Kit for Arduino? Well, the Grove Starter Kit for Arduino comes with a base shield to connect on top of an Arduino to enable the Grove interfaces, whereas this beginner kit comes with a Arduino Lotus which has 12 Grove connectors on board. This simplifies the whole connecting process into one single board. The Arduino Lotus is based on the Atmega 328 AVR microcontroller and it features 14 digital input-output pins, 6 analog input-output pins. Also the 12 Grove connectors combines 6 digital, 3 analog, 2 I2C and 1 UART port. It is very convenient to connect this board to a computer because you can just use a micro USB cable for the connection. Now that we have showed you guys all the hardware, let's move on to setting up all the software to start playing around with this beginner kit. First, we need to download and install the USB to serial driver for Arduino Lotus. So let's go ahead and download this driver. I will choose Windows 10 installer here because we will be using a Windows operating system. Wait a few seconds until the download is finished. Then open the zip file and open the .exe file for 64-bit since we will be using a PC with that architecture. After that, follow the install wizard and complete the installation. Then we need to download the Arduino IDE because that's where we will do all the coding. So let's download the Arduino IDE by visiting arduino.cc and then choose software, downloads and select the relevant installer based on your operating system. I will choose Windows installer here because we will be using a Windows operating system. Wait a few seconds until the download is finished. Next we will download the Grove Beginner Kit sketchbook. This sketchbook contains all the libraries and example codes needed to play with all the modules that comes with this beginner kit. So let's go ahead and visit this github link. Then download it as a zip file and wait a few seconds. After the download is finished, make sure to place the file under Documents Arduino. Finally extract the file. Now that we have downloaded all the necessary software and files, let's open up the Arduino IDE. First at the library for Arduino Lotus. Go to File, Preferences, then Locate, Additional Boards Manager URLs and paste the library URL into the text box. Press OK to complete. Next go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager and search for Arduino AVR. 
and click install. Close the window once the installation is complete. Then we will import the downloaded sketchbook by specifying the location of the sketchbook. Go to file, preferences and browse for the sketchbook location and point out to the location where we place the sketchbook. Now it's time to connect the CDNO Lotus board to the laptop and wait for the driver to get automatically installed. Afterwards, select the board from Tools, Board, CDNO Lotus. Then select the relevant port according to your board. Also, go to Tools and set the programmer as AVRISP. Now that we have set up all the software, it's time for us to build exciting projects and dive into the Grove ecosystem. We will be using the Grove Beginner Kit sketchbook that we have downloaded and imported before, which has 10 tutorials inside, along with the Grove modules to build simple demos based on the example codes provided in the sketchbook. First, let's start with the Grove 16x2 LCD, white on blue. We will now connect this module to the i squared c port of the Arduino Lotus. Open the Arduino IDE and go to Then upload the code to the Arduino by clicking the upload button. Now you guys can see the output on the LCD just like this. Pretty easy huh? Without further ado, let's move on to another demo by using the Grove Line Finder and the Grove Chainable RGB LED. Start by connecting the Grove Chainable RGB LED to D7. And Grove Line Finder to D3 port. Open the Arduino IDE and go to Then upload the code to the Arduino by clicking the upload button. Now you guys can see that when the line finder is on top of the black line, the LED lights up green and when it is on the white space, it lights up red. This module can be very useful in robotic projects where the robot has to follow a path autonomously. If you guys want to play more with the beginner kit, you can have a look at the wiki page of the beginner kit by visiting this URL and familiarize with all the modules to start building more advanced projects based on them. We have also included all the software libraries needed to play with all these Grow modules. So guys, that is it for the Grow Beginner Kit for Arduino. If you guys like this video, please give a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated with all our new product releases and many more interesting videos as well. Thanks for watching.